And now, Jaden Hawthorne and Asia Hawthorne in Garage Squad. <laughs> So when Ollie brought home a 1965 Ford Mustang Yay. Fastback, I think it's safe to say that his wife Veronica was less than impressed with the project, but Oops. Ollie's a smart guy. He decides to let Veronica pick the color of the paint job, and after that, there there's are. a glimmer of light in her right eye. There. It was a little bit more than a glimmer. Veronica fell in love with the car so much that she asked Ollie if she could have it if he ever got it running again. But then he fell on some health problems, and there the car sat for four more years. Hey, with a big smile and a big heart like Ollie's, it was hard to look at him and tell him, no, we weren't going to help him. But I would definitely say I think he's pretty happy today. What do you think? I think he should be. I think this <laughs> car turned out awesome. One of our best yet. The question is, are you guys ready to see it? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> All right. The drone was so cool. Look at my baby! All right. I drove out of the garage in the Mustang. And my wife, she was just, her eyes was big, she was smiling, and I just thought it was the best day of my life. <laughs> awesome. When I saw the car come out the garage, I couldn't believe that this was the same car that he brought home on that black bed truck that day. My question is, what do you think of your new car? It's awesome. <laughs> it's beautiful. And I did you know she said her car? I heard you say it. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> that was my laugh. Yeah. Take that baby for a drive. We started with the interior. When we found it, it was just a shell. I mean, there was nothing in there. No seats, nothing. We went ahead and made a plan to match it to the blue and white on the outside, too. So we went ahead and laid some black carpet down. We put in cream seats, new door panels, and then we went ahead and changed it from an automatic to a Speed. Just so Brian can have a little fun banging gears That's in this right. thing, you know. There's a lot of work that happened underneath the car as well. You know, we changed to a 350 rear gear with a limited slip differential, so this thing's really gonna be able to transfer the power to both rear wheels. We also lowered it down a little bit, improved the braking so it'll stop on a dime, and new wheels and tires really complement and set off the whole chrome exterior of this car, all those accents. And of course, underneath the hood, we yanked out that little 289. We had to bore it out, new pistons, put on a set of reman heads, intake carb. Ignition system, cooling system, we got it dialed in and it runs like a top. And I would definitely say, Brian is having a good time. <laughs> Are you excited to drive this thing? Very exciting. What do you guys think of it? Do you like it? Yeah! <laughs> the deal. You know, this car battle is right down to the very end. It was a close one, but whoa, I think it whoa, came out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute, where are you going? You, you, um, this is what I do here. You, you never see the show? No, you yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, well, hold on. Veronica, we got one more surprise for you and all of you guys. Joe, hey. Look at my shocked expression. That set under that tree <laughs> with a tarp on it? I kind of eased back into the garage because we had another surprise. We found a little time this week to do the little lap. So I'm thinking that's it. I'm overjoyed about what happened with the Mustang. I started up the GTO. And she had this PTO, big grin on her face again. She was totally shocked. Joe really pushed hard to get this thing up and running again. We threw some new wheels and tires on it. And you know what? You got a new project you got to get on. Yeah, I got to get it. You thought you were off scot free. I want to be there for the drag race for the two of these. But we don't have time for that today. It's all time we got this week for Garage Squad. Remember, send us your submission. We'll see you next time. You guys, come check out these cars. All right. Awesome job. Joliet, Illinois. It's been a while since I drove a stick shift. 